Hey guys, welcome back to the next uh, episode of Plants vs. Zombies, episode 22. And um, after raising some uh, plants and stuff and getting rid of some things, I was finally able to to get the uh, imitator guy. It costs 30000 yeah, it's kind of expensive, but it is going to be very necessary and helpful for Bobsled Bonanza. Yep. This is going to be one of the last few ones I actually do, mainly because I don't really like this one, and it's quite intense. <laughs> so, we're going to use, um... We're going to use a couple of things. First, we need to get some sun, obviously, and we, we only have nine slots. It would be a little bit easier if we had ten, I would say, but um, there's nothing much we can really do, so we're just going to have to grow with it. Just try to take this one step at a time. I think I have the right combination, if I'm not mistaken. Just got to make sure I pick the right things. This is, it's all about picking the right things, and I don't think the double sun is going to help us very much here, but we need a shooter or attacker or something. There's not really anything that's really that strong at this stage, so... I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Maybe not the pumpkin. I don't think the pumpkin's gonna be helpful. As you can see, there's only really three types of zombies in this stage. Regular zombies, the uh, bobsled zombies, and the snowmobile zombies. So, for the snowmobiles, we're gonna have to take care of them via the spikes and stuff like that. And as you can see, it starts off with ice, which really is just horrific. <laughs> just horrific. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't start off in any worse of a position than this, you know. I really just don't like this at all. Why do they have to do this to us? What we need to do is get rid of one of those icy... We need to get rid of two of those icy steps, er, areas. Hopefully it won't come through this area. The, the top area or the bottom area. Let's see. But we need as much sun as we can, and we need as much time as we can, because this stage is going to be long, and it's going to be very difficult, so <laughs> I don't know how that's going to turn out, hopefully. The first zombie to come out is a ball. Yeah, there it is, okay. Uh, it's kind of not in the right row, though. I kind of want it to appear in the, the top row. Oh, shoot. Well, here comes the top row zombies. Let's use the imitator now, and blast them. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh no, here comes one of those guys. Let's blast these guys too. Now that I have that, we're gonna put the spike weed. Now this zombie here, the snowmobile, nothing else will come out as long as that snowmobile guy is there. So just leave him, use the spike weeds, make sure to just get rid of as much as possible. And we're gonna keep that zomp, that uh, spike weed there because we're gonna need him a little bit later. It's taking a long time to go there. Oh, come on, hurry. I need that chili pepper to hurry up. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose all my flowers, and I don't want that. Uh, put that there. Bye bye. Come on. Oh, jeez. I need a chili pepper. Not, not there yet. Not quite. I need time. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I just blew 125. Get rid of this, though. Okay, good. Ah, oh, jeez. I just blew 100. I just blew that one chili pepper. All I should not have done that. I should have just stuck with whatever I had here. I'm gonna have to wait for it to recharge. It's gonna take some time. Remember that chili peppers do not take a take a awful long time to actually work. So, or get back to where it was. Come on. Come on. In the meantime, we're going to try to build up. If I have to remove... If I have to use the lawnmower thing, then that would be fine. I'm okay with that. I'm probably going to need it for this first one. Okay, let's save that area. So we'll be fine for the top row. All that sun is going to be protected from zombies, zo uh, those guys, anything. So, oh no, here comes... Get rid of this. Bye-bye. <laughs> they jumped in as soon as they saw that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh. Okay, well, as you can see, there's also some things in the water, too, now starting to come. Which is not giving me enough time to really work on any of this. Okay, we're gonna put the spikes there. Oh, jeez. We're gonna try. Oh, we gotta protect this one row. 
I gotta get enough sun for like a shooter or something. Oh, and that guy had to be there. It had to be. Well, let's pop that. Get rid of that first. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, come on. I need one more. Okay, well. Yeah, that we're gonna have to lose a couple of these. Yeah. Okay, well, gives us a little bit more time to actually figure out stuff, but if you have to use the lawnmowers and stuff, that is fine, you know. That's what they're for, they're to protect you for one hit. So, now I finally have the thing, okay. Okay, now I need to get rid of that guy, yeah. <laughs> That's what the squash is for, to squash those guys and stop them, so. As you can see, poor garlic is getting eaten up so quickly, stop it! Okay, so I gotta wait for these chili peppers to come back. Oh man. Forget it, just wait. Just let him eat those. We're gonna hold that one up, and we're gonna try to fill in the bottom row with sunflowers. That is the best. And these uh, zombie guys, they're pretty slow. You don't have to worry so much about them. Okay. Yep, get rid of that. Good. And that one will get popped. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> yep. Dead. <laughs> Just dead like always. And popped again. Stupid, I hate those things. I hate that they pop everything. The, the thing is, those spike things won't last forever, so you'll have to... Ho hopefully, they won't come out too fast or too quickly. We're gonna need something to protect that these areas, but I don't have enough stuff. Okay, so I have that upper region protected. But I don't have anything for the... I don't have anything, really, for anything else. I need something in this area. But if I need to use the chili peppers, I can do that. Okay, come on. Well, it's gonna be a while before this, this stage is gonna be over, so... That's gonna eliminate everything in that row, which is good. Okay, another huge wave of zombies. Oh yeah, that's just fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... Pop one of these zombies. Yeah. Bye bye And you're dead. Yep. Oh jeez. I still don't have anything. I need something in that middle section. To protect this middle section. Otherwise, it's gonna be very bad. You know? More than anything, that has got to be protected. Oh, here comes it. Pop that. Yep. <laughs> it exploded again. Yeah. Oh, come on. We're gonna need double garlic here, though. Just in case, you know, one of those enemies finds a way around it, so. Gotta get those, gotta get more stuff. I gotta wait for that thing to recharge, though. It's taking up s Oh, jeez. Get rid of this. There's so much in that lane. <laughs> okay, um... Crush that. Yeah. Another plant for my Zen Garden. Oh, so... So, well, it doesn't really matter. Those zombie guys that come out of the bob sets, those are pretty easy to fix and, and take care of. And so, we're not going to have to worry too much about them, especially with those ragweeds right in the middle of the roadway. Um, let's put one there. I don't want to put one there yet, quite yet. Okay, so the... So, the pool area is taken care of. We're just gonna need to put a few more of those things there, just to protect it a little bit more. So, I think we're good now. I think we're getting closer towards the end. Yeah, we're, we're on three quarters of the way. Two thirds. No. Yeah, two thirds of the way there. No. Yeah, three quarters of the way there, I think. Almost three quarters of the way there. Let's see. Yeah, just keep using those spike weeds. <laughs> They're gonna kill you anyways. Yeah. They're dead. So they don't even make it across because there's so many. There's so much stuff coming. Just die. No. Poor little garlic is gonna get eaten. They don't like you. Oh no. Oh man, I hate that. Yep, dead. <laughs> okay, so I think we're good. I just have to avoid a lot of this other stuff. And he's dead. You can, you can try to roll as much as you want. Those spike weeds are gonna stop you dead in your tracks. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> dead like always. Oh, jeez. Get rid of that. 
Oh no, I don't have enough! <laughs> I just don't have enough! <laughs> Shoot! It would've been so nice if I... Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, put that there. Okay, so now I'm fine, I think. Stop popping my spike weeds, stupid idiots! Oh, great. I don't have anything protecting that middle section. That top section, I should say. Oh gosh, oh my goodness, there's so many of those things! Uh, oh no, oh no, no, no. My, my one spike, yeah, my spike meets at the bottom are kind of like missing their horns and stuff. Thanks to popping so much crap. Ugh. Okay, so we got took care of that. If we need to, we can always use like the chili peppers. Those are always, oh, I hate this stage. I really do hate this stage. You know, it's all about setting up. Those first five seconds are going to determine whether or not you win. Win or not. And good, that got rid of everything. Okay, so now I think we're done with the zombies for the moment. We just have to take out care of the regular zombies now. Just get rid of them. Yeah, just keep walking over them. Okay, and we got three Peters in the middle pool section, so I think we should be fine now. Oh shoot, I, me I missed that. I put it in the wrong lane! Oh well, anyways, um, that's it. We don't get that much uh, for extra reward because I missed all those uh, lawnmowers and stuff. Okay, so we have the last one now, Pogo Party. And as I said before, this one is uh, obviously the Pogo guys, which I absolutely hate. And this one, you know, if you have the, if you have the imitator, this one is really easy to actually work. First we're going to use cabbages and and uh, those watermelon guys. We're gonna we definitely need to use the tall nuts and the imitator item for this stage is going to be the imitated tall nut. So we're gonna need a lot of sunflower, we're gonna need the pots, we're gonna need the watermelons, the cabbages, the squash is actually a good one too. Um, and I'm trying to think of what other else we could use. Can't use the can't use the shooters in this one because it doesn't quite work. We could use that, or we can use um, the chili peppers just in case something happens. But I think this this stage is not as hard as the other one, but it's still pretty tough, especially if you don't have the imitator because sometimes you have three waves of three zombies, pogo zombies, and you, your attacks are just not strong enough to hold them off. Even if you had the winter melons, which, you know, slow everything down, you know, if it doesn't, they're just so costly and so time consuming. And if you don't choose the right lanes, then you're pretty much stuck, you know, with watermelons that can't really do very much. So that's pretty much how this is going to work. We're going to try to fill in the gaps here. We're going to put some, we're going to put a couple of pots in that row where I'm putting it right now. And we're going to use sunflower all the way in the back. So Ah, uh, jeez. We have a couple of root cleaners. That could be helpful. Um, having the rake might be useful for this stage, but if you're going to go for just pure avoid and eliminate them, you, the first thing that's going to come out, yes, the pogo guy. So we're going to need one of those guys. Tall nuts to stop him. And stop the pogo. Can't jump over it. Can't jump over a tall nut, so. Ah, uh, jeez. It's just eating away at the tall nut, though. Gotta get some more sun, though. We gotta have something that eliminates this thing. Okay, get rid of that. Come on, cabbage. Shoot that cabbage! Okay, we're gonna use that row, like I said. Oh, jeez. Hurry. Well, actually, I can use the squash. I have the extra squash here. You can just get rid of that. Okay, when he comes over, he's gonna eliminate him. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh well, that one's a, that's good. That one's right in the same lane. So we're gonna we're gonna wait for the zombies to appear before we put the the things in place. So we're gonna have one extra just in case. Here we're gonna use the imitator as a placeholder. When the next one comes, then you put it there in the lane that it is, and then we have another one to you know for the next row. Okay, we gotta get rid of this stuff. And what we're going to do is create two walls of those tall nuts in that lane and the lane right next to it. So once we have all that and we have our watermelons, then this stage is going to be very easy from there. 
once you get this part set up, the first set of few minutes, it's gonna be, it's not that difficult of a stage, but it does take time and it does take some thinking, you know, specifically because these pogo guys are so annoying. They just jump over everything except for tall nuts, so, okay, now we're good. Now we have a whole row of five, which is great, um, and now we gotta start making more room for more of those guys, just in case something happens, you know, just to keep them backed off, you know, as far as possible. Uh, let's see, I think we're okay now, we just have to kind of save that other guy though, we, he's not going to be able to hold up that much longer. Yeah, look at those tall nut guys, <laughs> they're all just like holding up the walls and all that stuff. Uh, but I really hate these cabbage, I just think that they're very weak relative to what, you know, pea shooters are. Relative to what the pea shooters do, the corn guys, the corn guys and the cabbage guys are really not that strong, and they're not really that fast when it comes to giving out damage and stuff. It's just a little bit too. It's a little too slow for me, I think personally. I don't know. The cabbage, the cabbage could be faster. I think that's really the that's really the issue I have. You know, they don't launch as fast, and they're so they don't do as much damage as they could. You know, so. Unfortunately, for a stage like this, you're you're forced to have cabbage, you're forced to have watermelons because because of the angle that you ha are at. But actually, you can have pea shooters as long as it's on the very top row or the second or the the one right next to it. You know, the first four rows, the the farthest to the right four rows, or that row right next to it. Those are the rows that you can have the pea shooters in, and it still work. But you know, it's too close to all the enemies, so it's kind of pointless to have all that, you know, so... Uh, they just throw too high, I think. That's really the problem. It's too much in the air, and it takes too much time, I think. Let's see, okay, so anyway, it's enough babbling about all these cabbages and why they <laughs> they're not that great. Try to get some more watermelons in place. Gonna take some time. Pogo jumping! Okay, we're gonna eliminate that and put new walnut, tall nuts in. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Stop eating. <laughs> Stop eating them. Okay. Once we get three rows of, of watermelons, though, I think we will be really good. I don't think we'll have any problems with the stage once we get to that stage. Once we get to that level of this uh, stage then we won't have anything to really worry about, so... Just gotta get a watermelon in every row, that would be really great right now. Oh jeez, another one. And it's not in the same row as... I Just kill that thing! Come on! Cabbages are so slow, come on! Throw it! There we go, finally. We got a watermelon in that area, I should kill him very soon. There we go. Right, finally. Watermelons are still a little too slow, but I can understand the watermelons, because watermelons are freaking heavy. And they do a lot of damage. Like, like that. <laughs> they just knocked his head off. Okay, good. Um, ah, oh, jeez. Just kill those things. Yes, okay. It won't take that long as long. Once you have a watermelon on your side, that it's pretty much your set. As long as you don't let them, as long as you don't let the pogo guys go across your walls, you should be fine. So pay attention to the um, tall nut guys, how much damage they have and all that. That's why I have two rows of them, just in case something happens, you know. Now I can have some more watermelons. Two watermelons to the head automatically kills that person. Okay, yeah. Come on. Yes. There we go. And he's dead. Okay, all right. Kill that thing. Kill that zombie. Yeah. Okay, I think we're at our next wave now. Yeah, there's three waves in this stage. Oh my goodness, wow. This is gonna be freaking hard. I remember playing this one and getting really frustrated because I couldn't figure out why exactly, how do I exactly do this one? Because it's not that, it doesn't, it seems very simple, but it's, you know, it takes time to actually do it and, you know. 
I don't know. It's not, it's not that easy of a stage, but it, it sure is easier when you have the imitator and when you have that thing that's going to duplicate anything. And when you have two of something, especially if Talna, which takes so much time to recharge, you know, it's very good to have something, a double copy of that. There we go. They don't even have a chance. Yeah. I can probably replace the whatchamacallits now. See, so far we're okay. I think we're, yeah, I think we're good. Just gonna finish that up. Get rid of that guy. And he's dead. And that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Um, I really thought that I was able to hit that guy from there. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Completely missed it. Okay, so, yeah. I have a tall nut at the very top that's falling apart now. So it might be a time to actually put, yeah, put another one in place. And I think we're at our last stream now, so I think we'll be fine now. The only thing I have to worry about is the, the dropping zombies, because they do appear because they're in, they're on a stage like this. Oh my god. Oh yes, okay. Go, 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 go. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, that was the plot that got eaten. <laughs> I was like, what, what tall nut died? Oh well. Anyways, that's it. I'm done with mini games. All right. So next time uh, we will start survival mode. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye.